Hello friends! Today we build a clamping jig inspired by Dustin Penner but with Midwest Man Mountain modifications. Let's get started! For materials today I had a half inch sheet of MDF, some random 2x4s, and some quarter inch threaded inserts. I cut the odd angles off of that painted piece of 2x4 and then I cut the non-painted one to about 16 inches. That's what the MDF is going to be, is a 16 inch square. Then I took the 2x4s over to the table saw and I ripped them to about 1.5 inches square. With the help of my massive crosscut sled, it was easy to cut this MDF in half. It was three feet long, so I cut it to two pieces at 18 inches, and then I glued them together. I had an ugly side with some paint on it, and I put the ugly side to the ugly side using some tight bond 2, spreading it out nice and thin. And then I added some weights and let it dry for a couple hours. Special thanks to RZ Industries for sponsoring this video and for keeping my airways clean. For more information on the kind of masks that I'm wearing, check out the description below. While the glue was drying on the MDF boards, I took the 2x4s and I measured 4 inches in from the 16 inch boards and then another inch and a half in from that 4 inch mark. And you'll see why in just a moment. What I'm doing here is making a set of calls that are going to go over the 16 inch boards from front to back and keep the boards that I'm gluing nice and flat. I cut out those notches so that they interlock nicely as you can see here for storage. Applying some clear tape to any of the surfaces that I don't want glued will make sure that my calls don't get stuck to any of the boards that I'm making. In order to fit the threaded inserts on the front of the jig, I drill some 5 16 inch holes and then I hammer in the inserts, just like so. In order to ensure that everything lines up, I put the calls on my front and back boards and I drill a small hole from the top to bottom. Then I drill some more 5 16 inch holes for the other threaded inserts that are going to be on the bottom. There's more than one way to add a threaded insert to your piece. Some screw in with a hand screw, some you can drill in, but I like to use some brute force with a hammer from time to time. Assembly is really straightforward. Align the front rail with the front of the 16 inch MDF square, turn it over, pre-drill some holes, drive some drywall screws, and repeat with the other side. By the way, if you enjoy woodworking entertainment like this, head on over to my Patreon page and let me know. Thanks! Alright, let's test this. Adding more clear tape will make sure that the boards that I'm gluing don't get stuck to the MDF. I had a whole bunch of scrap that I had ripped to about an inch and a half, and I was time to glue them up. I added a 2x4 spacer, put my calls across the top, tightened down the bolts on top, and tightened up the bolts going from the front into the piece. Now, these require individual adjustments to make it perfect, but you want to ensure even pressure across the board. After five hours, the glue had dried enough to take off the clamps and see how it looked. The calls did a great job of keeping the tops of the boards in line. You can see that it's nice and smooth, and those boards cannot be ripped apart. But, my mistake was trying to glue wood to paint. Remember, you can't glue with a painted surface with wood glue. I should have ripped that off on the table saw. Oh well, the jig works wonderfully and I'm very pleased. 
And there you have it. It's a very simple design, but incredibly effective. With the holiday season coming up, I know I'm going to be making some cutting boards or cribbage boards or other kind of boards that have to have multiple pieces of wood glued together sequentially. So what do you do for clamping? Do you have anything particular? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you see, be sure to hit like and share it with your friends on any social media. Thanks for subscribing, and until next time, bye!